assalamu alaikum friends uh, this video is about uh, the second module which we are covering as part of hris course which is organizational management and uh, we have discussed the theory in class and uh, there are three structures in uh, sap hcm and the most important structure from uh, hr management perspective is uh, organization plan and in order to uh, configure or change or create or display the organization plan there are these three t codes uh, and two of them will be useful for us so let's just start with displaying uh, an organization plan and the t code is ppos we can type directly the t code in the command box as well and maybe when we first time access uh, this t code uh, this data is not there uh, and there is some help text apparent uh, 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 here and these are the details so i do so let's uh, start with uh, our first effort that we did in class as well uh, that we want to actually see the organization plan so organization plan have uh, three uh, most important constituents which is the organization unit uh, and within the organization unit we can have other organization units or we can have positions and on the positions uh, we can have uh, either persons or the positions are vacant so if we want to search for the organization plan uh, so let's uh, go to the structure search and all the possible structures are apparent here so there is just one structure which is active structure which is global by group we double click this global by group so uh, it is uh, available on the right hand side screen over here and uh, this is the uh, details uh, this is the actually structure organization plan and these are the actually details of any one item which we actually double click over here so if, if for example i double click global by group which is an organization unit so i get some of the details here that the organization unit is global by this is the short text or code this is the long text or the uh, detail name and this is the validity date and uh, this is the person who is the actually heading this particular organization unit and if we double click for example this company ceo this is a position so <clears throat> these are some of the details of the position this is the code of the position company ceo uh, this is actually the id of the position and this is the detail text of the position this is the validity uh, on the date which is the current date for the time being uh, job as we discussed in class jobs are not created in this client and although the person is already there in this particular uh, vacancy in this particular position which is john davis but the position is still showing uh, vacancy open because we did discuss that uh, one position can have more than one employees uh, in some special circumstances so let's hide these details first and try to make sense of uh, different uh, features available over here so i actually hide it this uh, i hide this uh, my details by clicking this icon so uh, we can expand the structure for example within the global by group there are two positions and there are two more organization units which are representing two company codes global bike us and global bike germany and the company ceo the two company ceos are actually heading this particular organization unit so there are two heads for this particular organization unit which is the group uh, global by group and on one of the positions how did we know that this is a head because there is a head upon uh, 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 the head of uh, this particular position if there is no head upon the head then this is just a position not the head so and the arrow sign denotes that there is a person so john davis is the person which is uh, uh, actually occupying this position but the second company ceo position is vacant because there is no person on uh, holding this position then we can see some other details over here which can be changed by actually configuring different columns so if you click this icon then you can see that uh, the code is apparent the id is apparent so all the checkboxes have been checked so for example i if i am not interested in some of them for example so then i will simply hide them and uh, uh, i have now uh, lesser number of columns apparent on the screen let's go to the global bike us uh, again it is being headed by the president of global bike us this is this is the head denotes that he is uh, actually the uh, head of the department and uh, the person uh, occupying this position is actually paul hansen this is a personal number of paul hansen this is the position number of uh, this is the position number of president and uh, this is the organization unit number so i double click it and uh, the details are open here for me so i just hide it again because uh, these details are not uh, relevant for me for the time being 
So for example, what is the uh, ID of organization unit information technology? So this is the ID of an organization unit information technology. You can see that all the organization units objects are actually starts with O. Their symbol is O. All the positions, uh, the symbol of the positions is actually S and the symbol uh, of the person is actually P. So P denotes the person as the position O the uh, organization uh, unit and these are uh, collectively known as different objects within SAP STM. So these are their ID numbers and uh, we can, for example, see uh, the details of administrative finance. I extend the column uh, width and within the financial, we have a chief financial officer who is heading, who is there. So Daniel Cohen is there, uh, his position number is seven. And within accounting, we have this is the person who is heading the accounting department. He's the chief accountant and this Sean Chen and the rest of the people are there are four positions in this department and there is no head upon them. So it means they are uh, not the head of the department. They are just working uh, and reporting to Mr. Sean Chen. And we can see the name of the people who are occupying this particular position. So having done this, uh, uh, now we collect these financials. And we can see different other departments and different other uh, organization units as we uh, require. And the important thing to note is that within the education department for training purpose, this particular client uh, has been configured with different security departments, almost 1000 security departments within the administration department for the students to practice, to create their own organization units, to create their own positions. So these are the places where we shall work on depending on our user IDs that have been allotted to you people and uh, this is the way actually uh, we will work so and there there are some other things to do for example if i uh, just select this one and i click this icon which is expand node then what will happen it will expand all the nodes within this particular node so let's click it you will see that uh, all the nodes have been expanded within this node so if you go there so you see all the nodes have been automatically expanded once i actually click this icon so uh, this is the uh, easy way to actually expand an entire group of uh, uh, organization units and objects. And if I want just to collapse it again, I can either use make use of it or collapse all. So collapse nodes. So the, uh, all the nodes have been collapsed. Similarly, I can select any other subordinate node to expand all the entities in that particular node or then collapse it. If I am interested in finding something specific, I can make use of this button. Uh, so the system asks me, am I uh, interested in finding the person or the organization unit or the position? So let's say I'm interested in finding the position within the uh, unit and there is a search term, there is an abbreviation and name, and there is uh, uh, there are some other criteria, but uh, uh, it is just to let you aware of the option. We are not going to use it anymore. Then uh, uh, actually there are something others as well, which I am not interested in uh, delivering this at the timing for the timing. So uh, in the next video, we shall see that uh, how we can make use of uh, actually this find by uh, option within the P post transaction. And in the third video, we shall see how to change this organization structure, organization plan uh, uh, rather uh, more, more specifically uh, through the transaction, other transition, which is P uh, hope you will find it useful. Thank you.